Sagittarius. How are you guys? Hope you had wonderful weeks last week. I am excited to be back with you guys. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Rachel. <laughs> I'm a shaman. I work with uh, the spiritual realm, so I channel um, with my guides. Sometimes I get ancestors come through. More so on general readings, it's, it just tends to be my guides, but it depends on, you know, the viewers whose energy I pick up on. Um, I do have two quick announcements before we get into the reading. First, I am open for personal readings as of tomorrow. So I will be reaching out to everyone on my wait list first. It will kind of be staggered by, you know, people that were first on the list, you know, through, cause I don't, I don't wanna double book myself with anybody. So I'm gonna kind of try to organize it to where it goes out in waves tomorrow. But everybody that is on my wait list, you should hear from me tomorrow. And, um, you know, I'll, try to work with you guys booking before I open it up to everybody else. So it should be open to the general public. Hopefully by Thursday, Friday, I'll have most people, uh, you know, on my books. It is looking like right now, more than likely I'm gonna be booked out till June. Um, we'll see though, I'll have that information on my website when I get through everybody on the wait list. Okay, second announcement. <laughs> Um, a couple of people have asked me, uh, this is something that, I mean, I, I love the generosity. I'm definitely down for it. Um, so I'm not demanding this at all. It's just if people feel called to do it, if you know, they want to do it, they definitely can. I appreciate it a lot. So a lot of people have asked about tipping. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start putting my PayPal and Venmo in my descriptions at the very bottom. Um, again, it, it's not necessary. I'm not demanding tips at all. It's just if somebody feels called to do so, I've had people comment and ask. And I do try to get to everybody's comments, but sometimes it takes me a few days if I'm busy and sometimes I miss comments. So it's just easier to let you guys know if somebody feels called to do it. So um, yes, that is in my description. Anyways, how is everybody? <laughs> I am excited to be back with you guys. Thank you so much for all of the love on your videos. I love my Sag squad. Um, all right, we're gonna do an Oracle deck and then we're going to do some tarot and see what messages you guys have this week. So let's get into it. What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? Um, first card out is slimy. Inside looking out. Okay. All right, that was too many spirit. That was like 10 cards. Ugh. Okay, that's too many. <laughs> that was a bad shuffle. Okay, what does uh, Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? What messages do you have? Your light, calm within transformation, rainbow bridge, bottom of the deck, pink bubble fairy, the all knower, can't be caught, laughing and crying, the one who needs control, cornucopia hiding, Okay. So slimy is the first card out. This is a card of, um, somebody might be dealing with a lot of like toxic people around them. It's a, it's a card of, um, you know, somebody being grimy, being slimy. Um, not like somebody as in you, but dealing with a lot of, you know, grimy people. Like somebody might be recognizing that they have a lot of toxic, like look at all the toxicity here. You know, a uh, lot of toxic uh, people in their life. And because they're recognizing this, they are isolating themselves from these people, but it is resulting in some loneliness here. This kind of reminds me of the energy I was picking up. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like it in my face. This reminds me of the energy I was picking up in the Aquarius reading a little bit. Somebody is starting to recognize that a lot of the people that they were around just weren't really good for them, didn't have very good vibrations, just weren't looking out for their best interests, might have had some snakes in the grass. So they have kind of 
taken a step back. And again, this is like quarantine energy, you know, spending a lot of time inside alone and kind of like maybe on social media, seeing people out and about, seeing people doing stuff and feeling kind of like left out. With your light here, somebody is recognizing their light within. This is uh, definitely a, a spiritual transformation here an ascension type of energy where somebody is recognizing that they do have a lot of value and um, light to share with the world. And maybe they didn't see that before because of the people that they were around. They were trying to fit in with a crowd that wasn't really for them. But now they're kind of recognizing and coming into um, themselves. Or, you know, this could be you, Sagittarius. Recognizing that you have a light within you that you need to shine, even if you're shining alone here. You know, the one candle in the night. Your light will light up a room. After that um, is calm within transformation. So with the candles again and then the snake here, somebody um, might have some negative energy around you. There might be people even trying to do spell work against you with the candles here. Somebody might try to do some like candle work against you, fire magic against you with the snakes. But um, if not, it's just protection. So somebody is protected right now. And I get that that's kind of why people are being revealed to you as not being in your best interest, you know? It's an energy of you're just seeing how people that you thought were your friends really weren't your friends. You know, somebody that you thought you could trust, thought that you were close to, thought that you had a good relationship with. You know, you've recently found out that they've been talking shit about you. And with like, it almost looks like blood droplets here. Like there are people that kind of um, felt good from your misfortune. Felt better about themselves when they saw you struggling or failing. So when you are starting to heal and recognize that you have a lot of value within yourself, these people are kind of being revealed to you as snakes here. But as you are coming into your light, you are being protected because you are ascending. Your vibration is too high for these people. So as your vibration rises, they don't resonate with you anymore, which can feel kind of lonely. Especially as you go on a spiritual journey, a lot of people think that you're crazy. <laughs> when I first awakened, I went through my like first like big awakening in 2015. And I remember I was super excited and like learning about like Atlantis and you know, <laughs> lizard people. <laughs> you know, like uh, the pyramids, like I, I was just went like really deep in. <laughs> And I was excited about it, I thought it was cool. So I was like going to people that I'm close to that I, especially like learning about star seeds, cause I was like, I know people that are star seeds. I still, a lot of the people that are close to me are star seeds, um, but you can't, <laughs> you'll learn as you go through an awakening that sometimes spirit will guide you to awaken people. And sometimes, you know, it's not their time yet. Somebody just isn't, um, at a place in their journey where they're ready to wake up. And some people have just decided not to wake up this lifetime. You know, it, it depends on their purpose here. So some people will just never wake up and you know, you'll, you might have family or friends that just are gonna be asleep this lifetime and that's okay. I mean, as long as they're not like a negative influence or abusive, you know, not everybody that's asleep is like a bad person. Some people just, you know, their focus is, you know, their day to day life and that's all it is for them and that's okay. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't still have a relationship with that person. It just means that you can't really go deep with that person. And it's why it's good to kind of start to try to find people that you can connect to, you know, other star seeds. That's why online is really great because you can kind of meet other star seeds, um, other people that vibrate with you. Um, I really hope one day, well, I know that I will after, um, COVID is over to like have like meetups. I'm, I want to go on tour and like meet up with people in different cities. And I, I think it would be fun for us. Um, I just like the idea of like building a community of people that like, you know, have, have uh, found purpose in the bullshit that they've been dealt throughout their life and, you know, want to come together and, and, you know, uplift the community. So I love the idea of having like, you know, meetups where, where people that um, on the, are on the same wavelength can, you know, meet and 
get to know each other, find ways that we can, you know, help each other on our journey. So anyways, the, the internet is good for that. But um, yeah, you'll start to recognize that there are people around you that do meet the qualifications for star seeds and you can kind of feel that they are. But not everybody is comfortable with that term. Not everybody is really ready for it. So that is a part of a spiritual awakening. It is kind of lonely because not everybody is ready to wake with you. <laughs> and you do overwhelm people sometimes. So I, I went through that. I got really excited. I like went and like <laughs> I tried to tell uh, somebody in particular that I knew of the star seed, but they are very uh, closed off to that type of energy. It overwhelms them. It still does. Um, so I was like, told them about star seeds, and they were like, mm. <laughs> I was like, no, you are one. And they were like, mm. <laughs> and uh, we ended up like, they got a little bit upset with me because they felt like I was being forceful, but I was just excited and wanted them to know, uh, which, you know, maybe they're awakened. They just don't like to acknowledge it, but maybe one day. <laughs> Anyways, after that is Rainbow Bridge. So this is a uh, ascension. They are, um, somebody is crossing over to a, a new timeline here, you know, divinely guided by spirit that's in line with your highest purpose. But as you do, my dad is mowing outside. I have waited <laughs> like an hour to start these readings. I don't want to keep waiting. So I'm really sorry. I thought he was done <laughs> back here. I don't want to have to restart again. Please go away. <laughs> Is that super loud? I'm so sorry. I hope you can still hear me. Um, somebody is elevating. They are ascending here. As you ascend, you will be guided to release situations, relationships, even possessions that vibrate lower. Um, it's really good that if you're going through an ascension, these people that you're being directed to let go, get rid of any items you have from them. Don't hold on to like keepsakes from people that you have bad memories with or that just, you know, if somebody was a good friend for a long time, but you found out that they were really a snake, don't hold on to a bunch of photos. Um, don't hold on to possessions, you know, that remind you of this person because it, it um, is a, a physical tie, you know. If you have realized that you need to cut a soul tie with a person, you need to get rid of stuff. Anyways. <laughs> I'm drinking a Red Bull. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm burping at every reading. <laughs> I I need energy and focus, so I need I need some caffeine with red bubble fairy. No, red, pink. Why did I say red? I don't know. Somebody might need to work, do some root chakra healing. Um pink bubble fairy is manifestation. Somebody is manifesting here. The all knower awakening. Like I said, this is a very like high priestess energy to me. Somebody is um, connecting to their intuition and they're manifesting. Can't be caught. This is a uh, energy of breaking away from you know energy vampires, people that uh, held you down, people that try to benefit from your life. Somebody is breaking free and you know uh, shooting away. It gives me an Aquarian type energy. Somebody might have Aquarius in their chart. Uh, laughing and crying is a purging card. Somebody might be, you know, especially with that full moon, Pluto being retrograde now. Go watch that reading if you haven't. I did a reading last week on uh, the Pluto retrograde energies, messages from guides about the Pluto retrograde. Um, I think that it was a good reading. So if you're interested in what you can expect, it is going to be retrograde for the next five months. Um, laughing and crying is a card of up and down emotions, but it, it's a purging energy. So this is a, um, and it, it's common with ascensions, especially common with like full moons. And this one was in Scorpio. So it was a really deep eighth house purging um, of traumas too. So, you know, one minute being fine. And then the next minute, like just sobbing, just feeling a uh, overwhelming need to cry. And it's really good just to allow yourself to cry because that means that you are releasing trapped emotions. So that's why like when you're healing, you'll think that you're healed, you'll think that you're over it, and then all of a sudden you're sad again, you're kind of hit with bad memories, you uh, hear a song and you just feel devastated all over again. It's good just to allow that to come up and work through those emotions. Um, 
because that is you are releasing repressed energy and after you have a good cry like that you'll feel better you know with the laughing part after you release those energies you feel lighter the one who needs control and the cornucopia I get that this person that's going through this awakening, that's releasing, um, that's purging, that's releasing toxic relationships, that is beginning to manifest. I get that, you know, somebody is having a little bit of back and forth between their ego and their higher self. Your ego is the part of you that wants to protect you. So, you know, your ego is going to bring up old situations of, you know, you shouldn't go out for that job that you want because remember that time you went out for a job that you wanted two years ago and it didn't work out and it was really embarrassing and devastating. You know, you should just stick with what you have. You know, it, it's an, it's a part of you that tries to protect you, but um, you can't live your life being safe all the time. I mean, you can, but you're going to miss out on some really great opportunities, especially, you know, this type of ascension takes uh, requires a leap of faith here so somebody um is manifesting and i get that they they have a lot of different you know options you know it, it's a if it is a job somebody's trying to manifest there are quite a few different jobs available to you right now and somebody is kind of almost overwhelmed um with hiding too really overwhelmed because it's like as they're going through this spiritual awakening, um, they're battling with their ego, you know, a battling of having a lot of spiritual truths revealed, a lot of different timelines revealed, a lot of, you know, it is very overwhelming when you first wake up and you recognize that, um, you know, that we're living in a matrix, we're living in a, like, manifestation of your own inner being and you really have a lot more control than you think you do but you know you're a co-creator with spirit so you don't have full absolute control over everything especially when there's other people involved you know spirit will move for the highest good of all so if your manifestation requires you know the participation of another person in any way it may be delayed it may look different than what you want and that's because you need to do what's best for everybody involved and what's best for everybody involved doesn't necessarily mean what everybody wants, you know? If somebody is um, unhealed and refusing to do the work and harming others, what's best for everybody involved would be that person that's refusing to do work and unhealed to experience a loss of some sort. And that way the people that this person is affecting negatively can be released from that negative energy and the person that is giving out negative energy has it returned to them so they can see how it feels you know a person that is let's say you have somebody in the workplace that is constantly trying to steal other people's ideas undercutting other people being nasty spreading gossip you know maybe what the best for all would be for that person to get fired and even for the person that does get fired because then they can see that you know stepping on other people and spreading lies and gossip isn't going to get them ahead in life and that's a, a spiritual lesson for them you know anyways let's clarify slimy yeah um nine of cups is a card of um wishes fulfilled but it can also be selfishness seven of wands Somebody is, Seven of Wands is blocking and it's also overcoming obstacles. So we take it both ways. Somebody is blocking out selfish people that really took advantage of them in the past that, you know, used this person for their own benefit. Um, they're recognizing this and blocking those people out. And it's also you're overcoming, those people are part of the obstacles. You know, you're overcoming obstacles to fulfill your own wishes. Queen of Swords, uh, Libra energy, cutting off people that don't bring you justice in life. So that Ace of Pentacles, you can bring new manifestations into your physical. Somebody is recognizing what they deserve and they're not, not accepting relationships and situations that um, aren't what they deserve. Put them in bad situations. Make them sacrifice 
um, their own happiness and well-being for other people to be happy. There is somebody here, Sag, because uh, the King of Swords came out. So there is a, a feminine and masculine here. There is a masculine that might have been cut off because they were cold or, you know, swords can often be mental illness and a low vibration. And a high vibration, a king of swords is somebody that's very logical. They're kind of detached from their emotions. So, you know, they, they make plans. They, um, you know, go about, um, they make plans and they put those plans into action, but it's a very cold energy. So they're not very emotional. They're not very attached to anybody. Um, it can sometimes represent a lawyer or a doctor, somebody with a, a PhD, uh, um, higher level education, intelligent, um, <laughs> not crazy, but like intelligent, <laughs> but <laughs> swords is mental energy. So, uh, king of swords, queen of swords can also be somebody that is verbally abusive, cold, and suffers from mental illness. So take it how it resonates, but there is a, a masculine energy here that is kind of plotting, um, they want to, for pentacles, hold on to this queen of swords because they see that they are very abundant. They're single, they're ready to mingle, they're attractive, they're taking care of themselves, taking care of the physical, so their physical body, but also their finances. And yeah, this person, the devil, could be a Capricorn. Somebody um, feels uh, almost possession you vibrate together, so it might have been a situation where this you were dealing with somebody that was very cold and selfish, so you blocked this person off. You went cold on them as well because you want what you deserve here. You're focused on yourself and what's good for you, and this person is wanting to either four pentacles hold on to you or uh, hold you back. Yeah, five of swords. It's a... It's an energy where they want to overpower you. It's an energy where um, they want to outdo you. So they don't like that you are um, self-sufficient, you're uh, looking good, feeling good, attracting attention, doing well for yourself. Um, they don't like that. They want to try to one-up you so that you know they can hold on to you. Yeah, this is somebody that was immature in the past and Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, was dealing with a third party here. Two of Pentacles, juggling you with a third party. I get that they, uh, it might have been a situation sad with the lovers, could be a Gemini, but it's um, somebody that really... I get that it's somebody that genuinely cared for you, but they were immature. And um, with the cups energy, they had emotions for a third party. It may not have been, because it's not a kink, so it's not that they were in love with the third party, but it is where they had some sort of emotional connection with the third party. Maybe they were emotionally cheating on you in the past, they were cold towards you and they were emotionally cheating on you with somebody else, or um, they were just very flirty. They might have been somebody that was kind of cold towards you, but they would flirt with everybody. They they did juggle you. There was a tower here and you decided to go off on your own. You decided you wanted new love. You cut this person off, yeah. You wanted something new because you wanted something long-term. This relationship ended, death card, could be a Scorpio. This is somebody that you did cut off because they were cold and selfish. You're recognizing that <laughs> King of Pentacles, it might have been somebody that you were in a relationship with, or it was somebody that was more focused on money, and they were a flirt, so they would be cold towards you, but they would be very kind and generous and like sweet to other people. Yeah, with inside looking out, um, yeah. <laughs> Strength card. You are resisting this person. You're recognizing this that this person was no good. You're resisting this person. With uh, strength could be a Leo. The world card again, Capricorn. You've ended a cycle here, a cycle of being 
backstabbed and betrayed by people that you were in relationships with. It was a mirror energy with the lovers. This was, you didn't feel very good about yourself or you just didn't really feel really good about love. Maybe you just expected people to be unfaithful. You had dealt with a lot of kind of um, people that didn't treat you well, didn't see your worth in the past. It, it was a mirroring energy. So the relationship that you have with yourself will be mirrored in other individuals. And that doesn't mean that you won't attract toxic people, but it means that you won't tolerate toxic people. Once you love yourself and recognize your light here, which you are, you're recognizing that, wow, I put up with a lot of bullshit I didn't deserve in the past. I put up with a lot of bullshit. A lot of people that were sweet talkers with the Nine of Cups, but they were really selfish and just interested in what they wanted, you know? Ending a painful backstabbing cycle of being put in third party situations. You may have dealt with a lot of people in your past, Sagittarius or Cross Watcher, that would constantly put you in third party situations. And it might not have been that they were cheating on you per se, but they were, you know, flirting with other people for sure. Just immature with the Knight of Cups. You had a, a, a lot of people that you had dated in your past that were very immature emotionally and would um, at the very least flirt with other people, you know, a person that has a girlfriend but doesn't show or boyfriend, never posts their significant other, but they're, you know, liking half naked photos all over Instagram, you know, heart eyeing people on Instagram. <laughs> and then like you post a hot selfie and they don't even like the photo, you know, that type of energy. The star could be an Aquarius again or an Aries. You've attracted somebody here. Now, if this is a masculine energy, somebody is seeing their worth and stepping into their divine masculine energy and finding healing with the star. If this is if this is a feminine energy, you are healing and attracting in a masculine. And it's because you've healed your masculine energy. You're not accepting less than what you deserve. You're not overgiving. Um, you're not trying to love somebody into loving you back. You're recognizing that I have a lot to offer here and I deserve love and I shouldn't have to perform. I shouldn't have to prove to anybody that I'm lovable. You know, if they don't see that, if they don't see my worth, then um, they don't belong in my life type of energy. Yeah, page of cups justice. You're gonna get justice for this. Yeah, somebody that hurt you in the past that kept you blindfolded. You, um, Sag, this is an energy where you didn't know the extent of this person's unfaithfulness. You may have thought that you were in a, like, because I get the, with the Knight of Cups, it could have been a Pisces, that somebody was a very smooth talker. So they were able to, oh no, baby, everything's fine. Don't worry about a thing. Like, you know, that person doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, you're just, you know, they might have even gaslighted you, told you that, like, you were imagining things that you're insecure um, this person, two of swords, kept you blindfolded to the fact that they were, uh, they were very unfaithful. They were a huge flirt. So, you know, if they, uh, go to work, they're flirting with everybody at work. They're DMing everybody there in everybody's comments. It's like embarrassing. This person was an embarrassment to be associated with them. And I get you were blindfolded, so you may have not even been aware of what trash this person was. But your justice here is, because it's justice, page of cups, you're going to get justice for this other person being immature emotionally, treating you bad. I'm so sorry about the, the lawnmower. It's upsetting. <laughs> I'm trying not to freak out. <laughs> Because I cannot, I can't keep putting readings off. I'm so annoyed. I'm so sorry. I hope it's not as loud as it is in here. It's like so loud that it's like vibrating my room a little bit. This room a little bit. So, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I get very irritated. I have ADHD. So it's like when I'm trying to focus and work on something, like stuff like that is very, very irritating for me. Yeah, there's an ending, a transformation here of you being left out in the cold. Ten of Pentacles, you're manifesting um, something long-term and you're manifesting abundance. It's your justice. You're going to get karma and this other person is going to get their karma too. They're going to be left out in the cold. King of Wands could be an Aries. 
they're gonna be left out in the cold for trying to play you. This person thought that, yeah, you were very, very loving and giving towards them. Queen of Cups could be a Cancer. You might be a Cancer, have Cancer in your chart. They were a playboy. They were uh, using you. They liked that you loved them. They liked the love that you provided, but uh, they were not faithful whatsoever. They're very immature emotionally. They're very cold towards you and like hot for everybody else. Calm within transformation is nine of pentacles. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be dramatic. It's just like, come on, stop. Give me like 30 minutes of peace. Uh, especially since this part is done already. Stop circling. I'm so sorry, dad, if you watch this. It's not his fault. He's just trying to mow the grass. Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, bottom of the deck is Four of Swords. Yeah, healing and things are not going to come in very fast for you. Eight of Wands. Things um, feel like they're taking forever. You know, it's a calm before the transformation. Well, calm within transformation. There's a, a calm energy around you now and it feels like things are taking forever. You might have felt that you have a new love coming. You might have felt that you have new opportunities coming, but they haven't really manifested into the physical yet. It's because there's a transformation going on. But Ace of Cups, it's a new love here. And also as you find love for yourself, as the love for yourself renews, um, it's pulling in somebody very fast. But Four of Swords, you have to heal first. The quiet that you're experiencing now is just you're healing, you're transforming. You have to trust God's timing. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, you are healing and becoming uh, self-sufficient so it might be that this ex you just need to purge and heal from their energy you know as soon as you're healed and ready spirit is going to send you in somebody very fast can I clarify rainbow bridge yes what did I tell you somebody four of swords nine of pentacles you're healing you're about to take a leap of faith to a whole new world of high vibration. Somebody's moving up to the 5D of like instant manifestation here. Things, you're, are gonna be so many different options for you. You're gonna have like your pick, you know? You are asking for one dream job, you're gonna have like three options, you know? You're asking for uh, <laughs> a new car. The new car that you have your eye on, it's gonna be like, you're gonna be able to get a car that's like double that worth you know it's like what you are asking god for what you're asking spirit for right now you are going to be given so so much more and but it, it feels right now like things are taking forever and it's because there is a calm while you transform spirit is protecting your energy you need to uh heal and ground yourself like i said with the i where i misspoke and said the red bubble fairy you might need to work on your root chakra so that you can ground yourself a little bit more um, you have to be kind of like solid within yourself before you receive blessings, you know, especially if it's like financial abundance or a relationship, you don't want to go into a new relationship with baggage from your last relationship. Now, it doesn't mean that like you have to be perfect, but it means that you're not like still looking at your ex's photos in a new relationship. You know, you're not going to get drunk and want to like call your ex up and ask them why things didn't work out while you're with a new person. So it's some healing needs to take place so that you can be self-sufficient here. So you, you're not relying on other people. If it's, this is a nightmare. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is testing my, testing me. The Lord is testing me. <laughs> Through <laughs> a lawnmower. <laughs> um, Money, for instance, if you are still connected to a lot of toxic people, Spirit's not going to bless you financially until you see the truth about these people because if Spirit were to bless you too soon financially and you did not have, you weren't um, free from these toxic ties, they would bleed you dry. They would have an emergency, their car broke down, they can't make rent this month. You know, to toxic people will do that. They will, if they can find a way to prevent you from, you know, thriving, they will. And they feel entitled to what you have. So, you know, their success is their success only. 
but your success is their success too. Well, sometimes even your success is like a hit to their ego, but this person, these people that you were dealing with in the past, they, they are very jealous, they're very envious. So if you were to receive blessings before you had truly cut those people out, they would be able to worm their way back in and sabotage. Sabotage the new relationship, sabotage the blessings. So Sag, I do get that you have a, you are ascending right now. It's just, it's kind of like the calm before it all. It's gonna happen very fast with the Eight of Wands. It's gonna happen very quickly when all of this stuff manifests. You're going to be like, oh my God, you know, it's going to kind of overwhelm you when these blessings come in. So it's, it's just a quiet period where spirit is guiding you to kind of rest, to ground yourself, to get clear on what you want, um, get clear on who you wanna take with you to the next level and who really needs to stay in your past. So that is your reading. Love you guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.